Hi friends. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to wear these overalls. So either I tried it where just had them up and then the sweater over it. I was like, I don't know if I'm really loving that. So now I'm gonna try it this way. I will give you guys a second. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial with you. We're gonna do an Ophir video today. So be sure you share this live. Um, comment, share below. We're gonna give away an Amazon gift card. Okay, tucking it this way, maybe trying it where the sweater's underneath. I don't know. Okay, these overalls are Amazon, but they genuinely give you all the free people vibes. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to style them. Uh, all right, click in. I feel like I'm about to go, like, click in. You are about to parachute. Um, okay, I think that's cute. I think I like it better that way. What about, what do y'all think? Okay, <sighs> these, here they are. They're like big, wide leg, plan to wear with either some sort of wedge or maybe even a pink sneaker. I thought that would be cute. Um, okay, colored my hair dark, back dark again, my friends. Um, my hair, I naturally have dark hair and um, I felt like the blonde was frying. So today we're gonna get ready with dark hair for the first time. Um, I already have bronzer on my face. I'm gonna put on some primer and let it dry while well, it needs to just dry for a minute or two. My makeup will stay on a lot better. So bronzed up, primer. I use the Dewy Primer by Ophir. I have doctor's appointment to go to today. And um, so we're just going to get ready. Huh. What do you guys think about... Um, do you struggle with that? I want to be a blonde forever. Like I just want to. And my hair is like, I will break off and you'll have no more left. I forgot to put on some skincare. I poured water in here and didn't mix it. I am all over the place this morning. Um, greens, over a hundred fruits and veggies. This is drying. It'll take just a second. We're multitasking. I'm a mom. Of course I'm multitasking. Dunk in some trim fit. Shake it up and drink it. Don't have my protein powder up here or I would mix some of that in. <gasps> what did I not close tight? The lid. I even thought I checked it. <sighs> How's your day been? I just got water everywhere. Bright green water all in my sweater. You guys... About to do a restart. Not on the video. I really won't restart. I'm going to show you guys um, how I do just a when you're on the go mom makeup look. Really closed up. <laughs> um, do I think Palma Fair will ever ship to Canada? Yes, they start tomorrow. It's your lucky day if you've been waiting on skincare. Mm. So good. Okay. Ophir foundation. Um, I have two different shades from Ophir. I have cardamom and I have coriander. Coriander is my shade when I'm not tan and cardamom is my shade when I am tan. And today I have a little bit of fake tan on. So it's good enough for me. We're going to use our darker shade. I also like when my hair is dark. I just like my foundation to be a little darker. Doing about a half a pump. This foundation will last you for months. It is so easy to use. Um, the more you use, it is buildable, so it can be full coverage or light coverage. I am just wanting more of a lighter coverage, so I only used about a half a pump. I'm kind of loving this, like, where you can see your skin through your makeup kind of look. Uh, very fresh summer, I don't know, like a all natural, so it's really dewy. But my nose has natural redness, and so does a couple places on my skin. So I just kind of like where you're in between, like, does she have on a lot of makeup? Is that just her skin? That's the vibes I'm wanting to put off. 
um, going in with this bronzer. This is the Deep Bronzer from Ophir. And talk about adding some darkness. And ooh, a little goes a long way. Don't forget. Okay. Here, do you guys like this with the sweater underneath? It's kind of giving me like a grown up cabbage patch vibe, but I'm here for it. Um, do you guys watch Miss Rachel? If you don't have a toddler, you probably don't, but she always wears overalls. So I guess I'm somewhere in between like our overalls cool or am I giving off cabbage patch mom, Miss Rachel vibes? We're going to wait to find out until I'm completely done with my um, makeup. And then I feel like that's when you can really tell. So went darker because the blonde just, it looked really damaged and it was, it didn't just look it. It actually, every time I bleached it, it was just damaging it more and more. So it's like, oh, I love the way it looks when it looks nice and fresh. But then it's like, I am frying my hair. I might not have any left if I keep this up another six months. So it was like, okay, well, this was fun. Um, but it's time to give my hair a break. I'm naturally very dark, dark hair. And so this is going to give it a break from bleach. Will I ever go blonde again? Probably. Do I learn? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just love it. Um, okay. Going in with Ophir's setting powder. This has been out of stock for months. When it restocks, run. It is amazing. I get asked all the time, like, do you have a filter on your face? I hate that you show yourself with a filter. And I'm like, I don't have a filter. It's literally setting powder. And their setting powder is amazing. You'd have to stand up to see. Um, I loved Cabbage Patch Dolls. And my girls, they actually have, they have Cabbage Patch Dolls. Veda was trying to fight for one of the bigger girls' Cabbage Patch Dolls this morning. Um, I love the way Cabbage Patch Dolls smell. I was like such a baby doll girl. Were you a baby doll girl? Were you a Barbie girl? Drop it below. I was a baby doll girl and I took my baby dolls everywhere. Like I wanted nothing more than to be a mom when I grew up. Like that was like, what do you want to be when you grow up? A mom. Now I just have real life humans that I'm carrying around everywhere. Um, okay. A little more. Love these bracelets, but they're noisy. I'm going to set them over here at the end. I'll put on earrings, bracelets, everything. Um, today, I just kind of feel a little like sensory overload. Um, have days like that, some days more than others. And, you know, where noises or touch or things just kind of like irritate you. Where you're like, huh, that noise. Today, it's the bracelets. But just because you jingle, you jangle. Okay, gonna go right over. I like the middle of my nose to not be like brown or red. I'm just using my foundation brush and I might need a drop more of foundation just to get it the way I want it. I'll show you what I mean. Now I'll take my bronzer brush again, go right down the edges. So if you ever get too much, you can always like, <laughs> let's try again. We are going to go in with Current Blush and kind of do like a sunset uh, ombre blush look. I'm going to use Apricot and Current and a big fluffy brush. So I'm going to do Apricot all above where I contoured. It's just like a peachy, really beautiful color. You can kind of go heavy on it. Very pigmented, but love the color. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Ophir's Current Blush, which is very pigmented, just right up here. So it's going to go from kind of like dark bronze here, a purpley here that fades into a peach. Kind of makes your cheeks look a little more lifted. 
can't really tell where one began or one ended, but it's just good. Maybe a little on my forehead. Just rosy up. a brush that doesn't really have much on it and blend your edges. I am going to do just like a tiny whatever excess like there's not much on here but just enough I like pinch it and I'll go right over where the sun would kiss your nose. Boop! Just like that. Okay going in with apricot blush on my eyes. You were a tomboy, your mom wanted to do dolls, but you just didn't. <laughs> Aww. I just was like, I do remember my dad would squish my baby doll's face sometimes, like you could squish its face in. And I remember the first time he did that, I just cried and cried. He was just trying to be funny. But I was like, it was as if he killed my baby. I was devastated. Um, okay, going in with a little bit of that bronzer. This is just so when you're on the go, you are busy, right, mom? You're busy, you're a busy lady, but you don't wanna look like you don't have your life together. A little bronzer, a little blush. Just on the outer corner, throw a little bronzer, just like that. Okay, I ordered a brow laminate. Um, Thing today off of Amazon. I can't wait for it to come in. I'm going to try it. I've never like actually done a six week, like a semi-permanent brow laminate thing. So when it comes in, I'll let you know how I like it. Perfection. Okay, now we're gonna go in with Ophir mascara. This is waterproof. If you are going to a funeral, you're going to swim, you're going to be sweaty, waterproof. Their waterproof mascara is like made for mermaids. You will not smudge at all ever with their mascara. Um, I'm not going to swim. I'm not gonna be a mermaid today. I don't need a waterproof mascara so I'm gonna find my regular. Hey Lexi Kate. Do you have my Ophir mascara? She said let me look. They're home sick. That's who we're going to the doctor for. Um, hang on I think I have another one I could use. If you have it. Do what, baby? What? Did you say you do have it? She's 11. And uh, she just loves, loves, loves makeup. Okay, we're going to move to lips. And then we'll come back around to the... Uh, what color did the hairdresser do? So I just told her, like showed her a picture and it was like a really dark um, brown. And I was like, all right, this is what I want. And then she does all the other stuff. So I don't tell her exactly. I just show pictures. We do like the picture method. Oh, I need some chapstick on. Any luck? Huh. Pleasure doing business with you, little tiny human. Thank you, Lex. She feels so icky. It's just that time of year. I feel like I was sick several times this year. I've been sick. I just am like, ugh. Oh.
Will I ever cut my extensions off? Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to get, I'm at the like, I would call it the weird phase. Like that's my natural hair length. So I'm not long yet and I'm not necessarily short. And I have a tendency when I'm at this level, just be like, chop it off because I don't know, I just, it's not my length. So instead of doing that, I am, and I had some breakage from just being blonde. So instead of doing that, I'm keeping the extensions and letting it grow out. And when it grows out, probably this much, probably fall. I'll not need the extensions anymore and it'll just naturally be that long. Okay, this is Barry from over here. Oh, your daughter has COVID. Oh, bless your heart. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some chapstick. Um, I use Happy Sav by Palmafera. My lips are chapped right now. I need to keep this on me so I can use it throughout the day. I do over my, overline my lips a little. Berry liner is my favorite. So can you kind of see the progression here of like the current blush to apricot, all the things we have going on right now. Let me see if I have something in my eye before I put on mascara and then we're gonna go. As if I can see a thing with this. Oh, where is a mirror? Mm. Real life. You like get a fuzz in your eye. Okay, I can't forget, I have to brush my teeth, put on my um, earrings and my necklace, all the things. The extensions are sewed in. Mm -hmm. They are. Um, this is the Meyer Lemon. I like all of them except for, they have a rosemary. I love rosemary chicken. I don't love, I don't love rosemary chapstick. Um, at Christmas, they had like a Christmas flavor. And it was great. Okay. Oh, if your mascara has castor oil in it, it will actually help lengthen and strengthen your lashes. It helps your lashes not fall out as fast, so it lengthens the time of your lash cycle, which in return gives you longer lashes. Very thick, very full. You know what else is very thick and very full? My brows. What is going on? I thought I didn't have to pluck them anymore because they haven't really been growing. <laughs> or I my vision is getting worse and I'm just not seeing them. I might get some tweezers in a second. Um, because your eye look is going to look way better if you maintain your brows. like you feel fine and all of a sudden you see a picture of yourself and you look like you have a mustache or something you're like what oh you've noticed your lashes getting longer so Ophir does have a foundation finder on their website if you don't know what shade to get I love their foundation it's just so so beautiful on I get a lot of compliments about my skin being airbrushed or different things. Um, and I'm like, I literally come on here with you guys. Like you get to see me go from nothing to being fully done. Like I'm not airbrushing my face. Like it's a live video. So I use the pre-cleanser from Palmavera to get my makeup off, um, especially mascara. Like these mascaras are a, like a stay put mascara, even the non-waterproof, um, or you could use a coconut oil, just use some sort of oil based to get them off because they are powerful. But I love that I have eyes that kind of, I'm very sensitive to light and my eyes water. And so I never have to worry about my mascara getting everywhere. I use the shade medium for the pressed powder or setting powder. And they do have a lot of deals going on on their site. So be sure you look and see like 
collections, like what the discounts are there, or like what code is on the site. just gives you such a cute fanned out look. I'm going to show you guys the full outfit. You can tell me if I look like a Cabbage Patch doll or not, or if it's a cute vibe. Or if I look like a preschool teacher. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, regardless, I'm wearing it <laughs> today. I'm not going to change, so we'll just see. Um, right. Earrings. New from Amazon. There we go. Oh, that says Ophir is my favorite foundation. She's 60. She's used hundreds of foundations from very expensive to mid price. And this is by far the best. I love it too. I also love that Ophir's foundation has skincare in it. So it's actually anti aging, um, which is awesome because who doesn't want anti aging products in their makeup? Have you guys ever been to the Cabbage Patch Factory in Helen, Georgia? My mamma and papa took me there, me and my sister, when we were little. And it was like one of my favorite childhood memories. We stayed in a hotel, like probably not a fancy hotel, but it had a swimming pool. And it was an inside swimming pool. And we stayed in a hotel and we went to the Cabbage Patch Factory. And they had it where it like delivered babies. You know, the there's like all these little Cabbage Patch everywhere and um delivered babies and I it was just such a fun experience um I had that baby forever I wish I had kept it and given it to my kids like so sweet um okay putting on a little necklace I think accessories when you're having one of those like how's this look I think accessories elevate your outfit they just do so here we go, putting on a little C necklace. I have links for everything that I showed today. If you drop the word link or me, and let's look at this outfit. You can tell me what you think. Hey girlies. Hey girls. Be sure you've brushed your teeth, okay? We're leaving in just a few minutes. Okay, so this is full little outfit, um, earrings, love with dark hair, a white earring, just something that kind of pops. Um, and then I'm gonna wear sneakers with this. They are a true wide leg. You know, this is our full face. I haven't even really brushed my hair yet today. Um, I just have leftover curls from yesterday. Uh, so, anywho. All right, hope you guys have a good day. If you have um, if you have a question about anything, you can send me a message. If you need links, uh, just drop the word me below and I can send them to you. Hope you have a good day. Everybody says cute, love the outfit. Not a grown up cabbage patch. I think the earrings are what took it to like, ooh, where's my wedding ring? It doesn't fit right now. I have to go get it sized. Also, I wore a diamond ring. I've been wearing it as my replacement and I lost it on the soccer field. And I didn't have insurance on it. And we looked all over for like an hour. Um, and cannot find it. I'm hoping one day just by a miracle I find it at soccer. Um, so thank goodness it wasn't my real wedding ring. But it was, still was a real diamond ring that was nice. And um, or I'm so goofy. But I'm like God like if I lost this like I hope that someone just finds it that will enjoy it. <laughs> um, or maybe find it and you know, I don't know, it makes it back to me or whatever. I reached out to the people over the soccer field in case someone turned it into lost and found, but I did. I was like, if someone finds it, I hope it's just somebody who will enjoy it. It's like a really beautiful, like ballerina style, um, diamond ring. And it just like at, with weight loss, your fingers shrink. Right. And so I've gone down multiple ring sizes and I've got my ring sized over and over and now it's just time to get it sized again and so purposely I don't have my wedding ring on because I'm like I don't need to lose it but I lost a different ring that also needed to be sized down so Aww. so sad so that happened this week but I really do hopefully whoever hopefully someone finds it and they are just like in love with it and I mean they could use it as their wedding it's beautiful and so and I didn't have insurance on it 
And so there's really not much, there's not much you can do other than reach out and be like, Hey, if you guys find this, here's a picture of it. Um, you know, if someone happens to turn it in, that's sad. But I have to just be like, that's what I get for wearing. So if your rings aren't fitting, don't wear them. They might slip off your finger. I've not ever had this happen before. And so I have a metal detector. I didn't even think of that. Have you seen me at the soccer field? I bought a metal detector for our beach trip and we never used them. Um, if you see me out of the soccer field with a metal detector, you're going to know what is up. I'm going to go ahead and do this while I'm on here because... Look how much better your brows look if you clean them up. Things I dread doing that only take me a minute. I did a video this week and I talked about 10 minute like moments that have changed my life. This would be something that I would be like almost dreading. Yeah, I don't know why I do this. It's not a big deal. It's like just do it and get it done. But it's like the procrastination of it. And so when you think about it, it's like it took you one minute to clean up your brows. Oh, it's my husband calling. It's like, why is this taking so, like, why have I waited weeks to do something that only takes me a minute? And so I've set a timer for 10 minute moments. They're just like, I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes and get as much done as I can get done in 10 minutes. And that's amazing what I can get done. Or I'm going to set a timer and I'll walk on my walking pad for 10 minutes. If I want to walk longer after that, I can, but I can stop at 10. Most of the time I get enough momentum that I will do other things. Just while we're here, there's always several. I have these white hairs that are thick and white. I have black hairs too. But the thick and white ones, it's like you can only feel them. I don't um, you need good tweezers. I wish I had a link for these. I bought them, um, probably 10 years ago from Sally's Beauty Supply and they're good. It is totally normal to get hair on your chin as you age. It is totally normal. If you feel like you need to pluck your hairs. Holy moly. Hang on. Oh, it must have been an eyebrow. I was like, there is a hair this long on my chin. Bust myself off. Um, okay, I'm out of here. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for getting ready for, with me. If you need links for anything, just send me a message or drop a me below and I'll send them to you. Bye, guys.